WRAL TV. This is Action News 5. Good evening. I'm Adele Arakawa. And I'm Charlie Gaddy. Tonight's top story, the eye of CBS is changing channels. Late this afternoon, WRAL Television announced it is switching network affiliation from ABC to CBS. The change will take effect on August the 4th. The first CBS program to be broadcast by WRAL will be Sunday morning with North Carolina native Charles Carroll. The move to CBS was four months in the making. It began with a major merger announcement in March. It ended in Raleigh this afternoon. We have more on the story from Bill Leslie. CBS officials brought some new caps for WRAL to try on for size. It was a perfect fit. Actually, the courtship of CBS and WRAL began to blossom in the spring. This was just after Cap Cities, the company which owns WTVD in Durham, announced it was buying the ABC network. The romance really got rolling when one of North Carolina's most famous natives sent WRAL a bouquet of compliments. I would just like to say that uh, just as WRAL-TV does it best, so does CBS News do it best. It seems to me uh, more than right and proper that we should be doing it best together. It seems to me a marriage made in heaven. And if God isn't a Tar Heel, why is the sky Carolina blue? CBS and you've got the touch. CBS and you. This year, CBS is ranked first among the networks in overall programs. NBC is second. ABC is running a distant third. CBS has been the top-rated network for 17 of the last 21 years. CBS wanted WREL because of the station's long-time ratings dominance in news and other programs. It's the commitment to the viewing community and the news leadership that fits right in with the same kind of philosophy that CBS has had for a long time. Without question, the CBS network uh, has the finest news, sports, information, and entertainment programming. We've got the touch with great new programs and the strongest returning primetime lineup on television today. The switch to CBS means WREL will not only have a brand new lineup of well-established CBS programs, but also a number of fresh programs for the fall. Around the clock, 365 days a year, CBS News covers the globe. The switch means you will see the CBS Evening News, the nation's top-rated network news program, at 7 o'clock on WREL. Of course, you will still be able to tune in Action News 5 at 6 and 11 each night for the local news on WREL. Great, great. Today's signing marks the second network switch for WREL. Channel 5 joined ABC in 1962. Before that, WREL was an NBC affiliate. Charles Kuralt remembers. I have been a fan of your station for a long time, a long time, since I got my first black and white TV set in my dorm room at Chapel Hill. In Raleigh, I'm Bill Leslie, Action News 5. Joining us live now from New York is uh, Dan Rather of CBS News. And Dan, you might imagine that our viewers are in an absolute state of shock, or many of them are at this point. Uh, thank you for being with us to tell us about it. What do you think this will mean to uh, the viewers, the people who have watched Channel 5 all these years, are changing over to CBS? How do you see it for them? What will it do for them? Well, first of all, Charlie, thank you very much for those kind words. And we're very excited and very pleased, everybody at CBS News, to be associated with you, Adele, and everyone at Channel 5. And I, I think the most important thing that we can say to your viewers in the Triangle area is that we at CBS News want very much to do on a worldwide basis, what you and everyone at Channel 5 has been doing so well for so long on a regional basis. For your viewers, this is what they will get in the way of news. A 50-year tradition of being fair and factual. Yes, we like to be first, but a North Carolinian, Edward R. Murrow, set the standard for broadcast journalism a long time ago here at CBS News. The Murrow tradition, the most experienced core of people covering news, anywhere in the world in any language work for CBS News. That's what your viewers are going to get and the kind of dedication that a Charles Kowalt and an Edward R. Murrow have made synonymous with CBS News. Dan, what, uh, how do you feel about it? What can we do for you? How can we help you here? Well, this is the most important thing for us, uh, Charlie, in, in your side of this, that we know what kind of news station Channel 5 has been over the years. Uh, you're a, a legend, not just in, in North Carolina, 
but I do not exaggerate over the country. The absolute epitome of what every network newsman hopes his local affiliated station newsroom will be like is what yours is like. And that's the reason we're so excited about this switch and, and so dedicated to making it work and something good for your community and your viewers. Dan, you've covered a lot of stories in the South in the uh, early uh, days of your reporting career. You have seen the South undergo a great number of changes. And as you well know, all of the networks are beefing up their efforts in this part of the country. Well, this is true. One of the things that I learned in, in covering in, in some of those early days is how much difference there is place to place and area to area. And believe me, we are sensitive to, we know the difference between the Triangle area and other parts of North Carolina, never mind uh, other parts of the Mid-Atlantic and, and South. Uh, recognizing those differences is one reason that CBS News has led the way, has pioneered in the development of domestic bureaus. We have beefed up our coverage. We've tried to lead the way in beefing up our coverage in the whole North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia, uh, everything. As the population shifts, as the balance of political power has shifted, uh, we've pioneered by opening up new domestic bureaus and giving ourselves the kind of flexibility for fast, fair, factual coverage that was not always the case with television. Dan, thank you very much. I know this was a tough time for you to, uh, all, to take We're time so to talk with us live this. from New York. Thank you very much. Thank Look you forward to seeing, forward you. seeing you. Take care. Thank you. Now, I'd like to talk with uh, you viewers just a minute about all this a little bit longer because sometimes it can be confusing to make such a change as this for you. So let's go over a few points. You know, those of you at home have a great number of uh, programs and uh, different channels you can watch. Some of you watch us by cable. So what does all this mean? Does, does it mean that you have to reach up and change a channel in order to pick up Action News 5? No, it does not mean that. Uh, you can watch us right here where you're watching us now. Does it mean that CBS owns us? No, our company is owned by a family in Raleigh. Does it mean that Action News 5 is going anywhere or going to change? No, uh, Bob and Adele and uh, Tom and Greg and all of us and all the reporters that you see will be right here uh, looking after the news for you here in the Triangle area and throughout eastern North Carolina. So what is an affiliate then? Well, in broadcasting, it means that a station carries a network program if it chooses, and it carries a network's news. Did we have to go to CBS? No. We had a number of choices available to us, but we decided that uh, we and CBS could do an even better job for you, and I look forward to that association with CBS, and I hope that you do. We'll be telling you a lot more about it in the days and the weeks to come. Remember that the first CBS program that you will see on Channel 5 will be August the 4th, Sunday morning, with Charles Corral. Adele? All right, Charlie, thanks.